Hey everyone, my name is Dylan, and today I'm going to be showing you uh, here on Blender a new add-on uh, that Substance 3D, or I guess Adobe now, um, released. So um, I've been using this uh, Substance 3D program um, for the last month, uh, just trying to learn it a little bit because uh, it's it's very powerful. Um, it basically allows you to make procedural uh, or somewhat procedural textures that let you modify attributes or parameters uh, within the material itself. Um, and uh, it basically lets you, it, it's not really procedural because uh, there is um, there is tiling, but um, it allows you to basically randomize uh, the tiling as much as you want. Um, or at least the parameters inside. So I think it's easier if I show you. Um, I'm going to link uh, in the description if you're interested to actually get this add-on. Uh, there's a video on how to install it and everything, but basically it's just you have to manually install it. Um, and it shows up here uh, in here. Um, and you can actually make it automatically figure out if a base color, um, uh, just a base color um, texture is part of a material. So uh, obviously we, we all know the textures involved in making a material. So there's the normal map, the, the uh, color map, the height map, metal, metallicity map, uh, or metalness, uh, roughness. So all those that are required to make a PBR material, physically based uh, rendering material, um, you can actually uh, not necessarily export anymore. You don't need to export the uh, actual textures for each one of those as a JPEG or, well, better yet, a PNG or TIFF. Uh, you can just actually just export the SBSAR file from Substance 3D, and you can actually modify the parameters inside Blender. So that's what I did with this uh, this one over here. This one I downloaded from uh, the share um, uh, thing that they have. So if you click here, it's a Substance 3D Community Assets um, uh, thing you have access to. And for example, with this one, um, you can actually change quite a few things. So there's, there's a bunch of things, but let's say I want to make this, I don't know, a different color. Oops. I want to make this I don't know, blue. I can do that. And you can see it update here. And this is one thing um, I noticed uh, with this release. Um, obviously, it's still in beta, but um, it will not really update um, here in cycles. I'm in cycles right now. I'm in uh, GPU compute. Um, and I'm, I'm having 32, um, uh, rays shot out or samples, I guess, um, with denoising on, uh, with the RTX card that I have. So the cool thing is that you can actually see it in real time in here. So I'm actually clicking the material properties panel here so I can have a live view of it. Um, I can also do this or whatever this this might be the best one to look at but i like the sphere um just so it gives me a better idea of what it um what it looks like on a rounded material um so here for example i was able to make that edit but you can actually make a lot more so in this specific material this there's a lot of things you can change such as for example um the scratches so the number of scratches you can add scratches uh, let's let's make it flat so we can see that better add scratches number of scratches there you see that difference uh, we can um, make the strength less uh, what else number of medium scratches more and so on um, and then to actually refresh it we would need to go back and forth and there it seems to have updated. Now to actually import uh, another SBSAR file, 
you can do this. So you would um, press the load substance material button. And here I have um, a rusty metal um, one that uh, uh, material that I uh, followed a tutorial on. And I can just apply to it the, the object that I have here, this plane, by just pressing this button. And here it automatically goes to uh, 256 resolution, which is pretty, it's bad. Um, but the cool thing is that it does all of this automatically. Um, so you don't really need to worry about anything. It does it all automatically. So what I'd like to do is put it to 248. Um, and now we can see here uh, on the right, it looks a lot better. So <clears throat> you can randomize the seed so you can have the rust anywhere you want. Uh, well, not really anywhere you want. It's just going to be randomized. Um, <clears throat> and you can, for this specific uh, material, I didn't do too much. It was just the rust amount, which actually uh, was quite a bit of work. So right here, it's 0 0.45. If we go to one, it's basically all rusty, you can see. And if we move it to zero, well, it's supposed to be no rust. There we go. It takes a little bit of time to update. Um, I noticed that one can actually, well, that doesn't look too good. There's something off about that. Uh, maybe it needs a little bit. But I noticed that um, if you look at the um, uh, your task manager, Blender is going to be running in the background quite hard CPU, um, and that is because the um, the texture is going to be applying. It's going to be changing a bunch of things in the background and then applying it to the material uh, in Blender. But the thing is, it's not applied onto here or the, the, the viewport yet. So if I go back to layout mode, we can see that it's updated here, right? Um, oh, and those black things, those darker parts are just scratches that I added, uh, apparently, I think, yeah. Um, so let's go back to shading. Now it's going to be updated. So it just needs to switch uh, back and forth quickly. You could uh, maybe turn something off and then it's going to be uh, applied. Um, so this is basically it. Uh, I'm gonna just show you a, a couple of more things. So this this one right here, uh, it's pretty cool just because you can see um, you can you can there's so many parameters you can change uh, in this one. I don't know why it was still in the last one. Uh, you can see a bunch of parameters can be changed. Um, I have some other ones. So I made this one in a tutorial. Uh, let's apply to this. So this was a simple one, uh, and it's low resolution here. So let's increase that. Let's randomize the seed. Hopefully, it updates. And sometimes it doesn't update. So that's uh, that's one thing I noticed uh, that is a little bit annoying. Um, but maybe it is actually updating, maybe randomizing just doesn't do anything because I didn't take that into account. I didn't factor it in, uh, in my original uh, SBSAR file. I didn't actually put any randomization. So that's that's also a possibility, very real possi possibility. Um, so yeah, uh, this one is, I think, simple enough. Uh, so you can... Uh, you can actually see that some things update pretty quickly, like color, but then some parameters take a while to update. Um, you can see that these aren't updating here. So it takes, takes a little while, sadly. Um, so let's do one more. I downloaded and actually it's, it's, a, it's a really cool thing here. Uh, it's the brick surface. Let's apply it. So this is what it looks like. Uh, let's make it higher resolution. You can see like that looks pretty good. 
right? But I just thought this looks really cool. <laughs> I'm thinking of making maybe a, a fluid simulation with a really odd texture on it instead of uh, it being like actual water or liquid. It's just something like this. Um, I think those sort of things are really cool. But yeah, you can change a lot of things here. So uh, let's randomize this. I don't know if that, yeah, that did do something. Um, we can increase the amount of uh, bricks in the X, lower the amount in the Y, I don't know, height offset, uh, make it uh, dripping mortar offset. <laughs> Interesting. So it shows how much mortar is actually dripping, which is, that's that's pretty cool. Uh, that, that is really cool. So brick degradation. Oh, it doesn't, and this hasn't updated yet. So there we go. That looks amazing, right? Like that I, and, and this one's also downloaded from um, the uh, the share this this thing um, the community assets uh, and some of these are amazing I can't believe people put all the, that time and uh, uh, dedication into some of these things uh, but they, they they turn out so well um, can even add some random rotation to things like this. And uh, yeah, I highly recommend it if you haven't tried it out, try it out, but it has some bugs still. It's in beta apparently, so don't expect too much from it, but uh, definitely give it a try because uh, it's a lot of fun. Thanks for watching and um, hopefully uh, you learned something new here. <laughs>